So there's a problem in Anguilla where people are stealing sand. So we went to this website, theftmark.com, and they have these microdots, which are about the size of a grain of sand, and they have writing on them. And normally they have some writing that gets people to their website, and you have to register your name. But we did a bulk order, and they put our own writing on for us. And so it looks like little pieces of sand, and we're going to mix it in with the sand. Each one of these containers was 50,000 microdots, so the total there is 500,000. And uh, has the writing on the outside. It, they actually did the writing wrong on the outside of the container, but it doesn't matter at all. It's right on the little microdots. So we looked at it under a microscope because it's fun to see. So this is a, an electronic microscope. And there's a few microdots under there. And we could read, the, read them. And we'll show a clip from the microscope's camera itself. So this is on the, uh, the camera on the bottom right there. So it says HTTP colon slash slash kate.ai slash sand. So now we want to dilute these. So we're going to put some sand in a barrel or a, a five gallon water container. And so we can sort of mix the microdots with this. And then we're going to spread it out with a fertilizer spreader. So here we're pouring each of the containers into the thing with the sand. Um, one by one, lots of little. Each each one of those is probably like a tablespoon or so. It's not a lot. To you know, fifty thousand grains of sand is just not that many. And so the truth is, in the um, you know on the on the part of the land where the sand is, we may have like ten microdots per square foot or something. Um, but we just put them all in, mix it up. There's ways to, the, the microdots have UV, they glow in a UV light, so you can see them that way. And they're also heavier, they're made of stainless steel. So they're heavier than regular sand. So if you used the same sort of things that you use to look for gold in some dirt or sand, you could find these in the sand. Um, so it'd be possible to search through, you know, cubic yards of sand and find all these if things were ever went to court. If it went to court and the police could find these microdots in the sand that was stolen, we, and it says kate.ai slash sand and it goes to our webpage, it'll be proof that the sand was stolen from our yard. So we're just mixing it up. Um, if we get it diluted sort of those few tablespoons mixed in with a couple of gallons of sand, and then we use the fertilizer spreader to, to spread the, the, the diluted mixture. This is pouring the mixture into the fertilizer spreader. Um, if you look closely, you can actually see the micro dots at least we could, yeah, you could see the different things. There you go. So then we just walk around where the sand is, you know, a couple feet deep and spread this. And we did it all over everywhere that there's sand. Um, so if anybody ever steals this sand, we could prove in court that they stole our sand. We're also going to do, you know, other things like a wall and a gate and signs and cameras and whatever. But people have been stealing sand from this place used to have 15 foot high sand dunes and they've stolen sand several times over the last, you know, 20 years. And the sand is produced very slowly by the coral reefs, like one cubic yard per acre per year by a coral reef. This sand has come back twice, but that's only because there was sand on the bottom of the ocean. 